Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Miss Lamb, and today I am reading a story called Bear Came Along, and it's a Caldecott Honor book. So that's exciting. Those are books that win awards for being great picture books for kids. So the title, Bear Came Along by Richard T. Morris, illustrated by Leeuwen Pham. Once there was a river that flowed night and day, but it didn't know it was a river until... Bear came along. Bear was just being curious. When he realized what the river could do, but he didn't know he was on an adventure until... Froggy hopped on. Froggy was a lonely frog who was looking for a friend, but she didn't know how many she had. until the turtles tried to warn them about things that could go wrong, but they didn't know how to enjoy the ride. The turtles showed up. I think I read that in the wrong order. Until the turtles showed up. The turtles tried to warn them about the things that could go wrong, but they didn't know how to enjoy the ride. This is a brand new book I just got yesterday, so I'm reading it for the first time with you. Until Beaver climbed aboard. Beaver was born to captain. He knew exactly where to go, but he didn't know about the detours until... Does anybody know what the word detour means? He didn't know about the detours. A detour is when you take a different way or a different route. The raccoons dropped in. The raccoons were so excited about the twists and turns ahead, but they didn't know they had to be careful. I really like the illustrations. Until they crashed into Duck. Duck was so content being right where she was, but she didn't know there was a world to see. Until look at that. What's going to happen? Do you see the illustration? Can you predict what's going to happen to them right here? Bear held on to Froggy. Froggy held on to Turtles. Turtles held on to beaver. Beaver held on to raccoons. Raccoons held on to duck. Oh, what a ride. So many different animals living their separate lives, but they didn't know they were in it together until... The river came along. And here we have a note from the author. I'll read it to you. If you spend too much time thinking about certain things, sometimes you get lucky and find a story. That's what happened with Bear Came Along. As a parent, I learned pretty quickly that kids are born with inherent personalities. We do our best to guide them, but their distinctive characteristics define who they are. All these diverse personalities go out into the world and balance one another. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is embrace each other, especially when that other is so different. But it is through this connection that we truly discover our best selves, our strengths, our weaknesses, our fears, our courage. This story says, take a chance, hop on board, work together, trust each other, Share the adventure. I hope you enjoy the ride. Richard T. Morris. And then there's an artist's note. I'll read that to you. That's from the illustrator. 
This book is really special to me. It was one of those rare stories that the moment I read it, I knew exactly how it would look. I knew exactly who Bear was and Froggy and the rest of these lovable characters. And I knew that this story, which started out so simple, so black and white, was the perfect metaphor for life. While painting this book, I spent a lot of time thinking about why people become divided from one another and forget that they all live on the same earth. It takes a small thing like animals in a forest falling into a river to realize this. We sink or swim together and sometimes we take a tumble and things turn out all right. I've illustrated over 100 books and I have to admit it's hard to find the right story just a little funny, just a little sweet and simple, in the way only a perfect truth can be. This story is, to me, exactly that. A small metaphor that reminds us that the things that bind us are greater than the things that divide us, and that while we are each distinct from one another, with quirks that make us so unique, we are all journeying down the same river together. It's so easy to forget that sometimes, but every once in a while, a story comes along that gets it just right. Liu Yin Fam. All right. I hope you guys enjoy that book. It was very nice. I liked it a lot. Make sure you read a lot.